life before the war. Life has been so warm, with family and friends all around me, with loving parents, with brothers and sisters taking me home from school and playing football at the pitch. Oh, Africa, oh, Africa, Africa, children are suffering. Oh, Africa, oh, Africa, Africa, children are suffering. They are walking on the road, going up and down. African children, they are suffering. Oh, Africa, oh, Africa, Africa, children are suffering. My name is Mohamed Sidibe. I am 10 years old and live in Sierra Leone, West Africa. Sierra Leone is a very small and beautiful country. It has long beaches, tall green mountains, and the people are very nice. But in Sierra Leone, there was a terrible tragedy. The country was not well organized and the politician in Sierra Leone, everyone that come and sit in the parliament, when he or she got money, should use it on her own affair. So the youth has to organize themselves and form their RUF, means they're fighting against the government. But the thing is that the RUF are not actually fighting against the government, but mostly against the people. <laughs> In 1999, the RUF descended upon the capital, Freetown, causing death and destruction. I too witnessed what happened because I was forced to go with them. I was a combatant. I was a child soldier. One Saturday, so I was in school when they attacked. By the time coming out of school, reached down. I did not even be able to read down my house because the place was very, very bad. You can see people coming from everywhere and gunshots. Most of the people were killed there at that same moment. So I stand there and started crying. Then some people come and collect me, some other boys. So when they collect me and they took me to the RUF forces. The movement which he was involved with, the RUF movement in Sierra Leone, the war uh, factions. These little boys were given positions in the army, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, among the factions. Sometimes in my interview, he tells me he was commanding people in the army, um, in, in the bush. My commander's name was Rambo, but people usually like to call him Rambo. My commander liked all of the people who obey in his rules and regulations. Those who abide in his rule, he like them. But if he said do this and you did not do what he has said to do, maybe you will get hurt. You will be shot to death or harm you in another way. That's very rough. When I interviewed him, what is wrong with you? He said, well, when they were asked to go from Kono to other places like Kailahu, taking loads on their, he their heads, giving them gone to go and attack enemies in summer villages. So with all this type of pressure on this little child, she was, uh, he was always frightened with this kind of past events. In 2001, a year after the war ended, I escaped to Freetown with the help of an Italian priest. My life soon began to change for the better. I joined an education program called IAN, a worldwide community of youth who use the internet to talk and learn from each other. CDB and I came into contact through another IAN member who is also a youth, who realized that we could give voice to a child like CDB to overcome the problems that he faced during the war years. We developed the www.childsoldiers.org website as an immediate response to these human rights violations of children. He can go on the No War Zone forum and interact with friends in Canada and some other countries. He can use the iron-based discussion forums and the youth forums 
to talk about the problems he faced personally. I was very, very happy because I have met another youth. And when I came first, I didn't know anything about the computer, how to operate the computer. And I know how to send an email address. And also, I know how to play games in a computer. You are the light of the world. Let your light so shine that men shall see your good works. And we are on fire. We should go with the light to the dark world. Let them see your desire to help the poor. Let them see your position to stand for those that are destitute, those that are in need, those that are in prison, those who are children, those children who took arms along, who were not... He's actually coping up with the other children around in the community. So I think I find much difference as compared to the past. He's closer to me. I take him as a son. And besides, even his education, I try to find a school for him so that he can be educated, to keep him busy with the school. So I have so many areas where I actually bring him up as a child, adopting him in my whole family. Well, I would like to be a doctor and also an evangelist. Yeah, I like helping people because if I, can, if I remember when I have grown up, I will say, oh, I have to help people because when I was young, people also like to help me when things was very rough with me. I am back in school now, bracing myself through hard work to reach my dreams with all of my friends and the ability to share my story with the world. I am not alone. We don't want to fight, we don't want to kill, we don't want to swear, we don't want to stop, we don't want to bomb, we don't want to gun, we don't want to stop, so we don't want to charge so yeah, we don't want to kill, we don't want to fight, we don't want to steal, we don't want to loot, we don't want to walk, and that's all white world what we need right now. Space and we don't, uh, we don't want no war. We don't want no war. What we need is peace and love.